What's up, cuz? It's TK. Oh, man, bro. <laughs> you never answer your phone. But check it out, man. So I watched Princess Bride. Five stars. Best movie ever. Oh, my God. <clears throat> like, Columbo comes in and he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna read you a book because you're straight up sick. And this is, like, way, way before, like, COVID. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, he's got, like, uh, like I don't know, 80s disease or something. And uh, so, <laughs> he's like, okay, so I'm going to read you a book. And you listen to it, all right? <laughs> and so, he starts out. And he's, like, in the beginning. And he's talking about freaking Sean Penn's ex-wife, right? And she's like, she's like, has this guy who's like her slave or servant. It, like they live on the same farm, right? But like, he's her servant. Like she's like, do all this stuff. And he's like, oh man, this makes me love you. And, and then she's like, I love you too. And he's like, but you know what? Being a slave is totally not, um, you know, it doesn't pay as much. So I'm going to go. I'm gonna go and and get a job. And so he like packs up his shit. And this is Robin Hood, right? Like the the English good one from um from Men in Tights. Oh my god, he's awesome, right? Remember when he played that bad guy in Twister? And it made no sense that there was a bad guy and like two like two storm chasers were like, you are the worst storm chaser, and I'm better. And his plate and he he was in Twister with uh Truba Capote and and they were like <laughs> so anyway so he's like I'm gonna go off and make my fortune and then like <laughs> he's like gone for like four years and then she gets a letter like oh he's been captured by pirates because you know mail wasn't great it's, he's, they're like we he was totally dead uh didn't confirm the body but he's totally dead sorry So she's like, okay, so he's dead. I'm going to just marry a rich dude for for now because I totally don't feel any love. And she's like, I could go do some horseback riding. And then like three like differently sized bandits get her. And 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 one of them is is the guy from Sunday in the Park with George. Oh my God, he's so badass, okay? He's so, like, he's on, like, a samurai vendetta, you know? And, like, he's he's after, like, a certain guy with his, with six fingers. And there, he, there's this dude that hangs out at 7-Eleven, and he's got six fingers? Oh my God, he's, uh, I don't, like, he doesn't seem like an English swordsman or anything. He, like, he definitely uh, showers in, like, where you get the window wash. And, you know, I mean, that's his thing, man. Um, but anyway, so she's like, they like kidnap her. And it's like the guy that kidnaps her, like the one of the little guys, he's like the leader of the group. He's the guy from, from uh, vacation. And he's dealing the cards to Clark. It's that guy. And he like, everything is just inconceivable to him. <laughs> oh, he's so awesome. Right. I mean, you know, outside of, like, the kidnapping and, you know, like, the verbal abuse that gives his crew and stuff, you know? But, you know, he's got a job to do, I guess. You know, he's trying to start a war. Anyway, so, like, so Robin Hood is, like, he's got to do, he's, like, shows off his sword fighting, right? Oh, by the way, Robin Hood, captured by pirates, wasn't killed. Okay, sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> He just got a fashion update, right? Starts wearing masks, starts wearing a little more black, it's slimming, learns how to sword fight, starts doing yoga. You know, like, like that's just stuff that you do, you know, in your 30s. You're just like, you're like, you know, I've, I've been just at the grind too long, you know? I just gotta get my shit together. But the other one, the other bandit, oh my God, do you know who he is? He's like, <laughs> He's the the WWF guy, the biggest guy of ever, and <laughs> he is so awesome. Oh my god! Like, have you ever seen pictures of him in the seventies? 
Like his fashion style was so amazing for being like, you know, like 70, 17 or however tall he was, feet tall. You know what I mean? And like, you know one of my favorite things about him is like every time, like every time he took a picture with someone of the female species for real, like every time he took pictures with women, he would like hold them, right? Like he was a huge fan. He was a huge, huge fan of freaking hold of women while he took a picture. And like <laughs> the reason why, seriously, that the giant totally loved to take pictures with holding women was because he was so it looked so weird when he wasn't holding a woman and he took a picture with her <laughs> anyway so like okay they kidnap her and then like okay so then the guy who was like her lover he's like comes back and he's like hey remember that time i was like went to go get a job and then you went and married some other dude and he's like, by the way, that turned me pirate, <laughs> okay? But I'm back. And so guess what? It was me all along that kidnapped you. Let's go through some perilous shit. Let's go through, you know, for some reason, we go back to the castle. Anyway, man, so like <laughs> the thing that I realized in this story, like the number one thing that I, that I really pulled from the core of this story is that A, okay, uh, Indigo should straight up be the next Dread Pirate Roberts. I mean, why wasn't that done? Okay, storyline A and B storyline. If you're if you're Grandpa's Columbo, then really it's all about love, right? Like life itself may just in the very end, you know, be about. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, bro, I gotta go. Love you. Call your mom. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share.